Hey, how's it going today, folks? This is DJ with the Rabbit Squirrel Garage, and uh, we haven't touched the CB1000 in a little bit, so I figured I'm going to go ahead and do some something with it. Um, I want to address a couple of things. One of them is the handlebars are hitting the gas tank. That should be an easy fix. The other one is this uh, fairing is just way too high. I don't like it. There's no way to make it lower because of the speedometer and the tachometer in the way. And I want to address the speed, uh, speedometer. Um, the speedometer is not working and there's no idea, I have no idea how many miles are actually on the bike. Um, the the uh, odometer is reading 48,220, but I don't, the title I have says that the uh, odometer doesn't work. So, who knows how long it's been that way. Anyway, we're going to uh, address some of those issues today, uh, so stay tuned. Got the bike up on the uh, scissor jack and uh, got the front wheel free now. So we're going to see what we can do about getting it off first off. Um, feels like it needs greased up anyway. Look at that, it barely even moves. It might be the brakes. Bike brakes might be sticking on it. I don't know. Anyway, you can see now kind of how how tall that front end is and that that uh. That front fairing just doesn't look right to me. I, I don't know. I'm just going to take it off completely. So let's go ahead and do that. Got to unscrew my fingers. Yeah. So, there it is. All right, let's go ahead and adjust these handlebars real quick just to uh, get that out of the way. adjusted we got the bike up off the ground now we need to get the front wheel off all right let's go ahead and get this front tire off um, looks like I need a 17 millimeter speedometer isn't working. That's one of the reasons we're taking the front wheel off. The other reason we're taking the front wheel off is, oh look, the tire doesn't come out unless you remove the brakes. Well, okay, if we must. Anyway, one of the, reason, the other reason we're taking it off is because we're going to replace the tire. We got new tires for this bike. So, uh, the brakes look good. I'm not worried about them. They look almost brand new. Basically, he's just got two uh, Allen heads here and here that uh, I'm going to pull off. And I'm hoping that that allows me... Yeah, that axle was just dry as a bone. I'm hoping that allows me to get the tire. I got one washer. There's the other washer. All right. All right, that brake caliper's off. And yeah, the brake pads look almost new. I mean, they might even be brand new. Let's uh, just see if we can get the tire off. Yeah, there it is, okay. So we just need to take the one side off. And now we got the tire off. And uh, we can find out why the speedometer's not working. That's the biggest issue right now. Basically, I'm just going to loosen that up right there. I can't get it by hand, so I'm going to get a little pair of pliers in there and see if I can't get it to move. Yeah, 
Yeah, there it goes. And we're just going to take this out and see. Oh, wow, the whole speedometer. Look at that, the whole speedometer is loose. Easy way to test it. Twist this and see if the bottom one turns. No, it doesn't. See that? Matter of fact, there you go. Speedometer cable is broken completely. Rusted through. So, yeah, that's what we got. We got to get a new speedo. All right, well, one problem identified. I'll have to order a speedo cable, so that'll take some time. So, yeah, I say we get to uh, replacing that tire on the, putting a new tire on the rim. That way, when we're ready to put it back together for the new speedo, we're good to go. So, all right, let's do it. Okay, we're going to start by removing the valve stem and uh, letting all the pressure out of the tire. Actually, that valve stem looks fairly new. Yeah, I don't even see the tires getting close to being bald anyway, and it's got cracks in it. So, that's, uh, I mean, this, you know, looks great over on this side, but the middle of it's definitely worn through. So, all right, anyway, let's uh, see what we can do here. Um, got some soapy water, and what I did is I just basically spread soapy water around the edges. Then I get out my breed breaker. And this is the fun part. <laughs> like, doesn't want to move. <laughs> Stiff. What is that, a 19? I think that's a 19. On to the next one. Just basically go around, go around the tire like that. This thing's pretty nice. I like, I like, I like it. Oh wow! I might not need. Need to use it? Yeah, I don't need to use it anymore. Look, perfect. Broke all the beads. All right, let's take it off and flip it over. There it went. All right, now should we pop the rest of it off? Yeah, there it goes. Okay, we are done with you. And now we can start breaking the bead. Or I mean, uh, getting the tire off. Which is always fun with these older tires, because man, they are tough, trust me. A lot easier than I thought it would. Look at that. Just slipping right off. And I might be able to just pull it off by hand now. No, not getting close. All right, there's one. just as easy. But that's okay. We don't get it. The flat ones work a little better. You can get more leverage on them. They're hair shorter than the other ones. So. There we go. Whew. Take a break. 
All right, we're going to go around this rim and uh, just make sure this, the um, bead is good on it. And we're just going to take it just a quick, let's see, we'll start at the, uh, where'd it go? Yeah, let's start at the valve stem. We'll start at the valve stem, work our way around. And just make sure we're getting, a, you know, there's nothing, it doesn't look like there is, honestly, but we're just making sure. Oh, there's a little bit right there. Make sure we get all that. Let's uh, get our tire ready. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. Now, with when you go to mount the tire, um, you see this dot right here. Can you see my? Do I got it in the? I'll, I'll bring it up closer. There's a little yellow dot. That goes to the valve stem. That means that's the uh, lightest side of the tire. So what you do is you mount it up, match it up with the valve stem. Okay? And you just start popping it on. And you're reversing your pieces. And I'm gonna hold it down with my knees. Start popping on this way. try to seat it that's all we're doing we're not the valve stem's not even in should pop Have a good seal all the way around. All right, we get the valve stem back in. And now my tire pressure gauge is uh, leaking air for some reason. But we're going to go ahead and set the, um, the manual says to put it at 32. So that's what we're going to do. leaking somewhere I gotta find out where so um, I have to take it apart and figure out why but oh well here we go we're at 32 and we're ready to start um, balancing it I'm gonna put it on the balancer it should go just like that all right let's get this balanced Here's what we're going to do. We're going to spin the wheel ever so slightly and then wait until it settles and stops moving. And that will put the heavy part at the bottom and the, that would we want to put the weights on the opposite end. So if it's sitting like it is right now, this is probably the, the hot, heaviest part of the tire, which would mean that we'd put a piece of tape up here just to mark it and then do the test again. Um, I like to do it three times just to make sure I'm good. 
right? So we're gonna do that right now. And I'm just gonna barely spin it. The tire, doesn't matter which direction, just any direction. And then let it go until it stops. Okay, it stopped moving. So let's go ahead and put our tape, what we're gonna do is put our tape right at the top. So there's the axle. We're gonna put the tape right there. That tells us this is the lightest part of the tire. Well, not necessarily the lightest part of the tire, just that that's the heaviest part, and then this is the side we, this part is where we'll put the weights. So what we wanna do though is, now that I've got my tape on, we'll put it at 90 degrees, and then let it go again, and see if that tape keeps coming back to the top. All right, so for the second time, it has now settled with the tape at the top, with the uh, heaviest part at the bottom, and the tape is still at the top. So that's two out of two so far. We're going to try one more just because, and uh, then we'll see. We're going to put it on this side now at 90 degrees and let it go. And wait for it to balance itself out. All right, it looks like it's settling back to the same spot again. So that's definitely our spot. Okay, so that's we know that we need to put the weights there because uh, it's the heaviest part of the tires at the bottom, and we want to counteract, counterbalance that. Um, all right, so also I forgot to mention earlier. Make sure you remove any uh, weights that you have on it. You know, any existing weights. Um, this one didn't have any weights on it, so I didn't have to worry about it. But uh, you want to make sure those are all gone before you try to do anything else. But yeah, so all the weights are gone on this one. And also, what you want to do is you, you want to try to keep your weights as close to the center of the tire here as you can, right? So putting them on like here would not be good because you're not out at the, back, at the end of the tire. So what you really need to do is try to put like half and half. You know, if you know you need uh, six blocks, put three on one side and three on the other, and that'll kind of balance it out pretty well. So, but we don't know. Oh, and uh, so the first thing we're going to do is put some uh, tire or uh, parts cleaner on to make sure we get all the grime out of the way. So what we want to do is, um, I'm thinking it needs at least two. So we'll tear two off, peel back just a little bit, and then put the weights on there. And then put it at uh, 90 degrees, and then see what happens. Okay, so two's not enough. Let's try two more. Try from the other side. Looks like it might be there. Yeah, see, no matter where we move the tape now, the tape stays where we put it. Uh, tape's there, let it go, tape stays there. Okay, so we need four weights. Let's do it. There you go. And we are done with this front tire. We're ready to put it back on. So, that's it. That's uh, all there is to mounting and balancing a tire. Trust me, it's a lot of work, though. <laughs> all right, folks, well, there we go. We've got the, uh, figured out what's wrong with the speedometer at a minimum because the cables broke. We got the handlebars readjusted, the mirrors readjusted because the handlebars were readjusted. Everything else adjusted because of the handlebars. And we got a new tire mount, mounted and uh, balanced on the front. So, yeah, um, got a lot, quite a bit done today. And I appreciate y'all watching. If you could, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel. It, uh, I'm getting close. I'm at 99 
So, someone out there, be 100. Please. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you all in the next one.